Welcome back to The Vault. This time around, we're gonna be looking at my good friend from South Africa, Brian Miles. Brian is the star of his own TV show in South Africa called One Day with Brian Miles. If you haven't seen it, you can look it up on YouTube. One of the great things about Brian is the way he structures routines, the way he puts things together, and I think that's evident in his Miles from Nowhere lecture. So we're gonna play out one uh, effect, just one of the effects, but I want you to watch it all the way through uh, and look at the simplicity and the directness and his approach to the plot and know that you're going to be getting not just that one effect, but all kinds of other effects with the Miles From Nowhere download. So this is it, my friend Brian Miles, Miles From Nowhere. Hi, I'm Brian Miles and thank you for purchasing my first lecture video or downloading this. Hopefully you did it legally. Uh, I trust that you're watching this in glistening HD, fully closed, hopefully. My goal is to inspire you with some of the effects that I've been performing for quite some time now. Hopefully you'll be able to take some of these ideas and make them your own. So with that, let's have a look at the effects. So first of all, thank you very much for coming out, Catherine. Sure. I have a pack of playing cards here and I want to ask you um, a question. Have you ever gambled in your life? Just with family. Just with family? Just with okay. Family. And, and were you with matchsticks? Yeah. And were you successful, mildly Not successful? At all. Not at all. No. Okay. Well, I think uh, gambling is one of the ways that we humans try and inject a, an element of risk into our lives, you know. But sadly, I think a lot of people will, will go out and spend their entire life at a casino, you know, maybe sitting at the poker table. And they're sitting there, they're like waiting for that one card to come along okay. that's hopefully going to change their life forever and bring them happiness. Yeah? Now this is kind of interesting. This is a pocket watch that supposedly belonged to a gambler. And uh, can you put your left hand out for me? I want you just to hold it just like this for me. Just like that, hold it nice and tight. And you can see the second hand spinning around there, yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna close the pocket watch. And Catherine, in a moment, I'm gonna have you close your eyes. And I want you to imagine the second hand of the pocket watch spinning around, okay? And then at the same time, I want you to think of something from your life that brought you happiness. Okay, maybe like when you saw a friend you hadn't seen in a long time or spent time with a family. You don't have to tell me what it is, okay. you just think about it. But make that as real as it can be in your mind. And as soon as it is as real as you can make it, I want you to open your eyes and then I want you just to hit the button there, pop open the pocket watch okay. and look and see what number the second hand is above. Okay, so whatever number the second hand is above, you'll then deal that many cards off the deck. Okay, okay does that make sense? Yeah. So go ahead, close your eyes. I want you just to imagine that second hand spinning around, round and round and round, just allow that to fade into the background. Now think of something from your life that brought you happiness. And just make it as real as can be, and as soon as you've done that, you can open your eyes. Yeah, okay, okay. you can just pop open the button, yeah? Just pop it open. Have a look, what's, what number do you see? Seven. Seven, okay. Keep hold of it just like that. Okay. You're gonna deal with your right hand seven cards face down. Face down. So do that for me now, just your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh card will you put there for me. That's the card that you've gambled on, okay, okay. supposedly, gambled on for happiness. But let's just see, had you stopped sort of one second earlier, it would have been the Ace of Clubs. Okay. Okay, and had you stopped one second later, it would have been the Ace of Clubs. Okay. Okay, but this is the, uh, this is the card that you've yeah. gambled on. Let's have a look and see what it is. It's the, ooh, Jack, Jack of Clubs. This is quite a good one. That's quite a high value card. Like but you see, like I said earlier, Catherine, the problem is that people think that happiness is out there. You know that you have to go out to a casino to go and find happiness. Yes. But the truth is that happiness is inside of you. And people often say that happiness is in the palm of your hands. Literally, in the palm of your hands. You've been holding that pocket watch the entire time? Yes. Have a look what's engraved in the lid. Turn it around. Jack of Clubs. And you can see there, Jack of Clubs. Oh, okay. And that's what I call one-stop happiness. 